of the world as the bible says before you again is your minister and a dear friend Humphrey Mokisa from prayer palace christian center i've been pastored by dr bishop rivers mrs salongo hallelujah and hallelujah i'd like to thank each and everyone who has been sharing and also commenting on my youtube page and also i like it may the lord richly bless you I know that you'll be always a working talent so that you may ex expand the kingdom of God through worship in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We bless the name of the Lord. And I bless the Lord on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Again, we're going to share our word just like always. So the moment of worship, we share our word as we encourage ourselves as worshippers in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And our word is going to come from... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, it's gonna come from Romans uh, chapter 2 and verse 4. It's gonna be verse 4 and verse 5. Uh, we're gonna read in Romans chapter 2, verse 4 and verse 5. And also, we shall read uh, in Psalms chapter 23, verse 6. Remember, our, 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 our worship it is contextual, it always bases on the scriptures. That's why we always worship God. In, in in spirit and also in truth like i told you uh, some time back the truth is the word of god truth means the heart what dwells in your heart hallelujah and uh, hallelujah uh, uh, uh the, the, the bible says uh, in romans chapter 2 uh from verse 4 up to verse 5 the bible says but god who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us even when we are dead in trespasses made us alive together with christ by grace 
you have been saved. Hallelujah and hallelujah. By grace you have been uh, saved. We are talking about the mercies of the Lord. I'm going to talk about uh, the unsearchable riches of the Lord. And today Amen. we're going to base much on the mercies of God. As we dig deeper in the incense of worship. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Someone asked me a question. That how can I worship God? wholeheartedly without any limitations and I told the person that you can worship God wholeheartedly without any limitations so long as you're not enslaved by your mentality knowing very well that you've been purchased by the precious blood of Jesus Christ the son of the living God and having unknown that you need to know that the masses of God are evident they are visible actually the much the masses of God and you know you need to know that there could be unsearchable masses of the Lord but yet they're achievable so long as you can know that being purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ you worship God without any limitation you worship God wholeheartedly knowing very well that the masses of God are always provided for you and that's why the Bible says in Psalms chapter 23 from verse 6 the Bible says that that, 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 that goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life goodness and mercies shall follow us mercies shall follow you every day the mercies of god are always evident the mercies of god are always provided in your life you should know that the mercies of god are for you so long as you are born again so long as you are a child of god you need to power your heart in the presence of, of the lord knowing that that you that you're no longer condemned now you are a free person you worship god wholeheartedly we bless the name of the lord for such a revelation in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. God I, again, I'd like to, uh, to welcome someone in the kingdom. Remember, whenever we come at the moment of worship and we share a word, we end by welcoming someone into the kingdom. Is the reason why we are still living is to uh, uh, preach Christ, is for Christ to come into the hearts of many. And that's why I would like to welcome you. In order, if, uh, if you would like maybe to accept Him as your Lord and your personal Savior, the Bible says in, uh, in Romans 10 and 1 9 and 10 the bible says that man believeth with his heart receive the gift of righteousness and he confesses with mouth receive the gift of salvation remember a righteousness is just you it's just a gift being given to you freely hallelujah and hallelujah and just like a, 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 a likewise also salvation is a free gift for you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god if you'd like to accept jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior it's high time for you to open up your heart you can confess with me and say father from today in the name of jesus christ i open up my heart welcoming my lord jesus christ into my life as my lord and my personal savior and i renounce and denounce every acts of the enemy in my life from today in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god now today you from today you are a child of God and actually you have the right you have an access to the unsearchable riches of the kingdom hallelujah the Bible says in John 1 talk, that those that accepted our Lord Jesus Christ they, 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 they that accepted him they're given the right to become the children of God they that believed in him hallelujah and hallelujah now you are a child of God you have an access in the benefits of the kingdom of God let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus Christ I dedicate that gentleman and that lady that accepted you as her Lord and her personal Savior I pray for her from today that you may be filled with the spirit of the living God that from today she may get to know the full knowledge about salvation in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I pray for your finances I pray for your businesses I pray for your marriage I pray for your family in the name of Jesus Christ may the spirit of the Lord operate in your life may you succeed all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ remember always on the moment of worship to call upon someone every Sunday we share a word and also get it deeper in worship sometime to come maybe we shall share it after we shall maybe do it for long hours as the Holy Spirit leads us in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you as we continue in worship in the name of Jesus Christ bye bye